I hit Major League Baseball 2002 is good, but it still has a lot to improve. For example, you can't do transfer. These stats seem to be irrelevant because players feel like they all play the same. The easy difficulty is still pretty tough, which means that the game won't appeal to casual players, there's no local multiplayer option, and the soundtrack is also pretty bad. But the good part is that aside of that, it's a solid game of GBA baseball. The baseball mechanics are good, but too bad that content-wise, the game is lacking. High Heat Major League Baseball 2003 is a shameful effort. It's the same game as last year, but with an updated roster and the inclusion of Link Cable Multiplayer. Sure, the gameplay is still solid, but without the missing stuff I listed in the previous game, plus the fact that every stadium looks the same, even if you get different ones, makes it lose big time in front of the competition that has great gameplay and great content. Here you get only great gameplay which means that you have no reason to get this game since the competition does a better job. And even when they rebranded the franchise, they still kept the same tradition. MLB Slugfest 2004 has the same problems as its predecessors. It lacks content. There's no home run derby, no all-star matches, you still don't get stats. Also, as its title suggests, it feels slug-ish. It's slug-ish. The action is slow and without content, you don't have any reason to get this game if there are so many other good GBA baseball games. And the last one, Major League Baseball 2K7, after having a few years of break to prepare for the big release, changes nothing. It's still low on content and dull in gameplay, concluding that no Major League Baseball game on GBA is worth your time. The franchise might be something on other platforms, but on GBA it just uses the name for some cash grab. And you can clearly tell that it's a cash grab, because from 2002 to 2005, in 5 years, they haven't improved the game. They didn't put effort to make it better, because they knew people would buy the game thinking that they will get a portable version of the good MLB. The MLB you get on other platforms. Instead, they get fooled.